Hello, my name is Adam Hughes. I'm an application engineer with GoEngineer, and today we're going to take a look at what we can do with our text tool in SOLIDWORKS. So the first thing I'm going to start out with is some sort of block to represent maybe a part that we've been working on. And we'll just go ahead and sketch a rectangle, and we'll just give that some volume. We'll create a sketch on there to, for our text. And a lot of the time what we'd like to do before we, before we actually you know, create our text is we like to put some guide curves in. To, to nicely align our text in our part file. So before we in, enter our text, we're going to add some guide curves. So some of the guide curves we're going to add, we're going to do like a horizontal line, uh, maybe like a vertical line. It's common that we have our text running down our document. And then lastly, maybe like a circle, right? And we'll go ahead and mark that for construction because it's common that we put text on uh, some sort of round object too, right? Okay. So let's, let's grab our text tool, and let's go ahead and grab our horizontal line first. We'll go ahead and insert some text. Oh, it's kind of small, right? And we might want to center it or justify it, left, right, justify it. So we'll go ahead and center that. Okay, it looks better. We might need, might need to make it bigger or smaller, depending on how big or small our part is, in this case, larger. So let's go ahead and uncheck document font, and let's go ahead and select our own. So we can change our font type. So we can change it like Century School Book, sure, why not? We can change our font style, bold italic, sounds good to me. And our overall height in units, or points in units, in this case we'll just do height. We'll change it to 8 millimeters and click OK. Ah, there we go, that looks better. The next thing that we might uh, try doing is, instead of horizontal uh, alignment, let's do some sort of vertical curve or vertical alignment. So we'll go ahead and delete this line 1 as our reference. And we'll select our new line, our, our vertical line. And you'll see that the text comes in simply rotated 90 degrees. Now, this might be just fine for some of our design projects. In fact, that's maybe exactly what we want. But a lot of the times, too, we also want text text going vertically down the page and not, not spelled out on a line. So in that case, what we're, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to first make sure we highlight all the, all the text in our text box. I'll do a control A to highlight that. The next thing I'm going to do is type in or hit the rotate or type in the syntax for the rotate, which happens to be an R30 followed by forward slash R at the end. Now, if I modify this 30 to 90, you'll see that our text rotates 90. And now what's happened? Well, we've gotten some overlap. Okay, so I'm going to fix that. We have two indicators on the left hand side, and one for the width of the text and one for the spacing between the text. So in this case we're going to want to we're going to want to edit the spacing between the text and maybe we'll change this to 200. And now you can see that our text is spaced out maybe a little too much. Maybe let's make that 150. Cool. All right. So lastly, let's go ahead and give that that arc or that circle a shot. So we'll go ahead and remove this line from the category. And we'll go ahead and select the arc. Now you'll notice that it there is no starter into a circle. So it can't really just justify it left or right. So in this case, what we need to do is we need to do a split entities. Or maybe instead of a circle, use an arc. So I personally just use a circle all the time, but it's just the way I work. Um, we might uh, You might just do a three-point arc. But in this case, if we use a circle, we can just use like split entities. And we can go ahead and click anywhere on the circle to get to break it up and essentially two arcs um, we might do one here at the bottom so now we have four arcs so when I go back to my text when I select my arc I just get that portion of the arc let's change our font and there you have it maybe we take out the rotate and we're good to go so just a quick recap we can create text on on a horizontal line a vertical line a circle that's offset from some sort of geometry from the part or any any line in between really that you could create so this is Adam Hughes from Go Engineer Thanks for watching.